Welcome to the Royal Albert Hall and the BBC Proms. If you've just joined us on BBC Radio 3, great to have you with us. Tonight, we're broadcasting alongside BBC Asian Network. Presenter Haroon Rashid is with me here in the box. Good to join you. Sarah, it is great to be witnessing this here together. Of course, I know Radio 3 is the home of the Proms, and Lata Mangeshka is the queen of the Asian Network. She's known as the Nightingale of India, who sadly passed away last year. So we're going to hear some of the greatest songs from the history of Indian cinema with the help of the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and star performers Palak and Palash Muchal. It's going to be such a magical night and here comes our on-stage host, Asian Network's Noreen Khan. Welcoming the audience to this very special Proms tribute to Lata Mangeshka. Hello and welcome to the BBC Proms. I'm Noreen Khan from BBC Asian Network, and you're in for an absolute musical treat. Tonight, The Proms is paying tribute to the one and only Bollywood singing legend, Lata Mangeshkar. <laughs> With a career spanning more than seven decades, She's provided the vocals for several generations of Bollywood's biggest actresses, from Madhubala to Madhuri, Rekha to Kajol, and Hema Malini to Sri Devi. Her career began in what was known as Bollywood's golden age, where the Indian film industry's finest composers with orchestras at their disposal created some of the most iconic Bollywood soundtracks ever made. Lata songs have certainly lasted the test of time. They've been sampled, reworked, and remixed by countless artists, including Britney Spears and Timberland. It's estimated that Lata Mangeshkar recorded tens of thousands of songs in her lifetime. So as you can imagine, we've had quite a repertoire to choose from. Tonight, we have a wonderful showcase of some of the biggest hits from across her career songs that will make you fall in love, cry, and just want to get up and dance. <laughs> Helping us celebrate Lata's incredible music, we've got one of Bollywood's finest singers who's here from India to pay tribute to her idol. Balak Muchal made her name as a Bollywood singer with hit films such as Ashki 2 and Prem Ratan Dhanpayo, and previously performed at the BBC Proms in 2015 as part of the late night Asian Network Prom. She'll be joined on stage later by her brother Balash, who's a film composer and vocalist, and dancers from London based dance group The Bollywood Co. for this very special tribute to the Nightingale of India, Lata Mangeshkar. So without further ado, please put your hands together for the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, conductor Michael Seal, and the hugely talented Balak Muchal. लता जी के आशीर्वाद और आपके प्यार की दरकार है लता जी के आशीर्वाद और आपके प्यार की दरकार है लीजिए आप सभी को पलक मुछाल का प्यार भरा नमस्कार है थैंक यू सो मच मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रगुजार हूँ आप सभी कि मेरे हर एक गाने को इतना सारा प्यार देने के लिए इट्स एन ऑन फॉर मी to be paying tribute to my idol, Bharat Ratna Lata Mangeshkar Ji tonight. Let's celebrate her legacy. Let's celebrate the legend called Lata Mangeshkar Ji tonight. Thank you. 
जब मेरी मुलाकात लता जी से हुई तब मैं बहुत छोटी थी मैंने लता जी को ज़िंदगी भर लिटरली पूजा है जब मैं उनसे मिली तब उन्हें मेरे चैरिटी वर्क के बारे में पता था कि मैं हार्ट पेशेंट्स के लिए कॉन्सर्ट्स करती हूँ उन्होंने मुझसे कहा कि बेटी बहुत ही डिवाइन आवाज़ में बेटी तुम जो ये काम कर रही हो जब एक बड़ी गायिका बन जाओगी तब इस काम को जारी रखना छोड़ना मत क्योंकि सही मायने में ये संगीत की असली आराधना है और उनके वो शब्द मुझे आज भी इंस्पायर करते हैं आज भी 
मोटिवेट करते हैं और मैं बहुत 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 ग्रेटफुल हूँ उनका प्रेजेंस अपने पास आसपास महसूस करके आज आप सभी के साथ थैंक यू सो मच अब जो अगला गीत मैं गाने जा रही हूँ वो फिल्म महल से है इस गाने से लता जी ने फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में एक ऐसी दस्तक दी जिसकी गूंज कभी भी खत्म नहीं हुई
मैंने शुरुआत में एक शायरी कही थी और शायद आपको पसंद आई थी इसलिए एक और शेर खास आप सभी के लिए कलाकार मरता नहीं जिंदा दफनाया जाता है कलाकार मरता नहीं जिंदा दफनाया जाता है यकीन न हो गर यकीन न हो गर तो कब्र खोद कर देख लो कलाकार वहाँ भी कलाकार वहाँ भी तालियों के इंतजार में पाया जाता है रंगीला रे
Thank you so much. It's time to call the next performer on stage. I have my brother to join me here. Uh, he is a music composer. He has registered his name in Guinness Book of World Records for being the youngest guitarist in the world. Now he's turned into a director and is directing several movies. Please welcome on stage, Palash Mochal. First of all, welcome to all of you. And Lata Ji Ko Naman, Swargya Lata Ji Ko Naman. And I would like to thank all of you, each of you for coming here. And Lata Ji is our favorite singer. And when we had our favorite, the most favorite, my most favorite actor, the one and only king of Bollywood, Shah Rukh Khan. When they came with us, the picture was super duper hit. And the song was a blockbuster. So why don't we start with this song? Yeah? Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I 
मेरी तन्हाई अक्सर ये बातें करते हैं तुम होती तो कैसा होता तुम ये कहती तुम वो कहती तुम इस बात पे हैरान होती तुम उस बात पे कितना हंसती तुम ये कहती तुम वो कहती तुम होती तो वैसा होता तुम होती तो वैसा होता मैं और मेरी तनाई अक्सर ये बातें करते हैं
हर एक्ट्रेस चाहती थी कि लता जी उनके लिए गाए हर कलाकार की इच्छा होती थी कि लता जी उनके लिए प्ले बैक करें लेकिन एक ऐसी अदाकारा थी जिनके लिए गाकर लता जी को बहुत बहुत खुशी मिलती थी और वो है मीना कुमारी जी और उन्हीं पर फिल्म आई वो गीत अब मैं गाने जा रही हूँ फिल्म पाकिजा से Baby 
जैसा कि मैंने आपको शुरुआत में बताया था कि मैं हार्ट पेशेंट्स के लिए गाती हूँ जब भी मैं कोई कॉन्सर्ट करती हूँ उसके उसका सारा रेम्यूनरेशन सारी राशि उन बच्चों के लिए जाती है जिनके पेरेंट्स उन बच्चों की हार्ट सर्जरीज अफोर्ड नहीं कर सकते आज यहाँ पर जब मैं लता जी को ट्रिब्यूट दे रही हूँ आप सभी को एंटरटेन कर रही हूँ कुछ बच्चे हैं बैक इन इंडिया जो कि वेट कर रहे हैं कि आज पलक दीदी का कॉन्सर्ट है कल हमारी सर्जरी होगी अभी तक ट्वेंटी बच्चों की सर्जरीज हो चुकी है और 422 बच्चे और हैं जिनके लिए मैं लगातार प्रयास कर रही हूँ सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग अ पार्ट ऑफ माय मिशन इन दिस ब्यूटीफुल वे
कभी खुशी कभी गम Applause for tonight's performers, the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and conductor Michael Seal, singers Palak and Palash Muchal, percussionist Gubzi Singh Lakhanpal and Pavin the Baratour, our fabulous dancers uh, who popped up in that half of the concert, and of course our host here at the Royal Albert Hall, Noreen Khan. Oh, Sarah, the magic, <laughs> the euphoria, the incredible vibe of the Royal Albert Hall right now in London. I can't express in words how incredible the last 45 minutes of music have been. Almost an hour of music so far with Bullock on stage. And it's been an absolute feast of music and dance. How many of those songs did you know? Every <laughs> single one. You could see me, Sarah. I was on my feet at times. I was clapping along. I was cheering. I was completely absorbed by that that orchestra sarah that orchestra pure magic i know and the percussion section just going insane <laughs> and to remind everybody you are listening to myself harun rashid from the bbc asian network and i'm sarah walker for radio 3 and tonight at the proms we're buddying up broadcasting side by side so welcome to listeners wherever you are however you're joining us we're at the royal albert hall for a very special prom paying tribute to the renowned singer lata mangeshkar who died last year and while the audience here in the hall take a break hunt down the ice creams or maybe a glass of bubbly we're going to learn more about the lady known as the nightingale of india tonight has been a real celebration of lata mangeshkar's life and legacy and i want us to hear from the lady herself. Now, this is Lata Mangeshkar talking to the BBC Asian Network in one of her last ever interviews. This was to celebrate her 90th birthday, and here she speaks about her love for life despite her age. There is no secret. The secret is that I have my mum and dad's blessing and God's blessing. And the listeners really show me so much love and they love my songs so much. But it's only with God's blessing that I still get to sing lots of great songs. Everyone keeps saying I'm 90 years old, but I'm still trying to get my head around that. I feel as if I'm still 25 inside. Lata Mangeshkar there talking about how she feels or she felt ever youthful despite her age and really her hobbies, her personality was not that of a 90-year-old. It was so childlike, an avid photographer, a fan of cricket, so much to celebrate in Lata Mangeshkar's life. And that youthful spirit just comes across so strongly. Great to hear uh, Lata in her own words there. Well, I think we should learn more about Lata's life and work, so Harun's going to give us a closer look. This is one of Lata Mangeshkar's most famous songs. Lag Jagale is from the film Wo Konti, released in 1964. It's a song Lata considered one of her best, but her career began more than 20 years before that. She was the eldest of five children born in a home full of arts and culture. Her father was a Marathi musician, but when he died in 1942, the responsibility to provide for the family fell on Lata's shoulders. She was 13 at the time. For the next few years, Lata faced hurdle after hurdle. Songs dropped from Marathi movies, having to move to Mumbai, hating the experience of acting in Hindi films. Until 1949, when she tasted success with her first major hit song in the movie Mahal. After that, there was no looking back. Lata spent the following five decades as the most in-demand female singer in India. Piyar Kiya To Darna Kya from 1960s Mughle Azam is one of the most iconic Bollywood compositions of all time. Lata Mangeshkar gained a reputation for her soulful voice, often used for the most emotional ballads on screen. 
If the 50s and 60s were the golden era of Bollywood, then Lata Mangeshkar was its shining jewel. In 1963, Lata brought the then Prime Minister of India, Jawaharlal Nehru, to tears during a performance of E Mere Vatan Ke Logo on Republic Day. In 1974, Lata became the first Indian singer to perform at the Royal Albert Hall in London. In the same year, she was declared the most recorded artist ever by the Guinness Book of Records. Lata continued her reign through the 70s and 80s. There were actresses who would have it written into their contracts that only Lata would sing for them. There were directors like the late Yash Chopra who wanted Lata to be part of every one of their movies. In her career spanning more than seven decades, Lata Mangeshkar recorded at least 30,000 songs in more than 17 languages. She will forever be remembered fondly as the Nightingale of India and one of the most prolific singers of all time. Haroon Rashid there going a little deeper into the life and work of Lata Mangeshkar. So tonight's soloists are Balak Muchal and her brother Balash. Now, Balak has been at the proms before, but she's a huge star in the Indian musical world and she's recorded several tracks for many films, including Ashiki 2 and Brim Ratan Dhanpayo. Sarah and I caught up with them just before the rehearsals today and I began by asking just how excited they were to be here. Balak first. This concert is very, very special for me because I have been a part of... Uh the concert, from the stage of production, from designing it from scratch, literally, uh, the selection of the songs, the duration, everything I have been involved uh, with, very, very, I would say, seriously. <laughs> and uh, I understand the responsibility that I'm carrying for this concert because it's a tribute to the Lata Mangeshkar ji. And uh, she's my idol. I can't be um, happier than this. You know, I'm, I'm very, very emotional because I've literally worshipped Lataji and to give her tribute at this platform at Royal Albert Hall for BBC Proms, it means a lot to me, yeah. Do you recall the first time you ever heard Lata's voice, Palash? Oh, yeah, I was very small and I've been listening to Palakdi's uh, you know, live concerts where she used to sing Lataji's song. And it's an honor to be here at BBC Proms performing with Palakdi because I still remember when she had performed last time. I was sitting with my mother in the audience and I, I was like, OK, I'll be on the stage one day. And here I am. And it's an honor to, you know, give, uh, be here on the stage and sing with Palakdi always. And it is really fantastic to have you here. How much influence has Lata had on you as a musician? I think uh, we all have been uh, growing up listening to her songs and when, when me and Palakdi, you know, we had got a chance to meet her. I was very young, I was around uh, five, six, and uh, I still remember the aura of Lataji. So, you know, that was the magical uh, Lataji that time I got to know. And uh, of course, we have learned all the musicians of Bollywood or India and all over the world, whoever listens to Hindi music, Indian musical, Indian classical music. Uh, we all have learned so many things from Lataji. Palak, what would you say made Lata's voice or her singing style so unique? First of all, uh, divine presence. I feel there, that there is a divine uh, presence in her voice. The way she makes every song sound so smooth. When you listen to a song, you just don't get into the technicality of it or you don't even realize that it's such a difficult song to sing. That's the uh, talent of Lataji and the versatility. I mean, the songs are ranging from Aiga Aane Wala to Tujhe Dekha To Ye Jana Saram. She's sung for so many generations of actresses. I feel that there wouldn't be a single person who would be in music and not be inspired by Lataji. I have truly worshipped her. There is so much to learn from her. I'm trained in Indian classical music as well, but how much I've learned from 
from Lata Ji's songs. My mom would always tell me, just cassette copy her song. <laughs> and back then, we would listen to cassettes. And uh, I would just try to, you know, sing every single line exactly like her. And uh, that's what I've done today, also tonight. Nobody can sing like Lata Ji. Nobody can be her. It's just my representation of uh, the respect, the admiration, the reverence that I carry for Lata Ji. I just want the world to know how much I love her. You know, Palak, as you just mentioned, Lata Ji be- could famously sing in several different genres, ranging from romantic songs to ballads, dance numbers, maternal songs as well. How much of a challenge will it be to emulate her on stage? Uh, it's quite challenging, actually. But the best part over here is that I'm not trying to emulate her. That is not possible, and I'm in terms with that. <laughs> so I wouldn't even try. As I said, it's just a representation of... It's an effort from my side to just give her back 1% of... Not even 1%, minus 1% of what she has given me. It's just an effort from my side to give her back a little bit. Mm-hmm. Palash, how much of a role model would you say Lata has been for musicians working in the film industry? Oh, I, as I said, uh, for all the musicians, she's like a god to us. Like how we used to say uh, Sachin Tendulkar in cricket. It's like Lata Mangeshkar ji in music. And uh, you will see in India, in all the studios, we, uh, there's a picture, there's a frame of Lata Mangeshkar ji in all the studios and all the academy schools of music. It's everywhere. So And now it's it's so hard to you know believe that she's not there with us but it feels we can still feel the you know the magic and i think generation by generation we'll keep listening to her songs and we'll we will still get to learn a lot every time and palak finally would you say she's been a role model to you as a woman absolutely uh, she's been a role model to me as a woman uh, as a singer as a professional because the way she carried herself all her life there wouldn't be a single negative thing that you hear about her in spite of having so many years of career i would definitely want to be aspire to be as dignified as pure as divine as her yes Palak and Palash Muchal, they're talking about their role in tonight's prom and their huge admiration for Lata Mangeshka, whose music making we're celebrating tonight. Sarah, of course, we heard there how much love Palak and Palash have for Lata Mangeshka and the influence that she had on them growing up, on their style of music. You can hear it tonight to see that clearly Palak Munchal's style of delivery very much inspired by Lata Mangeshkar. But Lata Mangeshkar didn't just inspire those in India. There's another part of her legacy that we need to discuss. I've got something for you. Do you recognize any of these? Well, all of those clips felt hauntingly familiar, Haroon. So, Sarah, there you heard some of Truth Hurts' Addictive, which samples Tora Resham Lagta Hai, a little bit of Britney Spears' Toxic, which samples Tere Mere Beach Me, Anish Kumar's Lata, The Game, Put You on the Game, which samples Bago Me Bahar Hai, so many songs in mainstream Western music that sample songs that Lata Mangeshkar originally sang. It's fantastic. She stayed relevant all her life. Well, earlier tonight, uh, for those in the audience, before the concert, we had Asian Network's DJ Manara warming up the audience with some fabulous mashups of Lata's music. And I'm really delighted that she's joined us here now. Welcome to our cosy little box. <laughs> well, um, I really enjoyed your set uh, earlier. and. Uh, how do you feel about performing here at the proms? Absolutely surreal. I, I've, it's such a huge space, an iconic space as well. Um, for the first 10 minutes, I'm not going to lie to you, I couldn't even look up. You know <laughs> what I mean? It was just so <laughs> surreal to be here. I know. I think the capacity is, is about 5,500 yeah. and it is absolutely packed tonight. Yeah. 
You know, Minori, I think you had the toughest job of the night because what you had to do was very delicately share your love for songs that sample Lata Mangeshko without doing an injustice to the classical quality of her voice. How difficult was that a job? Do you know what? With a singer like Lata, it wasn't that difficult because there's probably thousands of remixes that sample her. And I think the beauty of people who maybe aren't from a South Asian culture they don't understand what they're sampling. So they come from it from a, the different approach. Um, and I feel like that brings a different sort of melody and vibe to it. And, and your work obviously is, is so very different from Latta's line of work, but has she inspired you directly? Oh, absolutely. Because I think growing up, um, whether or not you're South Asian, you grew up with a lot of hip hop in the UK that would sample stuff like that. And I guess it was kind of validating to be 12 or 13 years old at school and there could be an Asian song in the top 40, you know? So Truth Hurts and Addictive was probably mm -hmm. the most groundbreaking Western mainstream sample of a Lata Mangeshko song where her voice was very much intact. That connects with young people even today. What sort of reaction do you get to that song when you drop it in a club or you drop it in an environment where typically the audience wouldn't be familiar with her voice? It's just timeless. If, you, if someone says they don't know that song, usually they are... They think they don't know, but they do, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, and it, it's just, it's, it's always, always going to just be a good vibe when you play that song because people always associate that hook with a particular time in their life, you know? And your reaction to the first half of the concert so far, yeah. the dance was amazing, amazing. the singing was beautiful. Uh, there's certain songs that are so emotional for me and many other people here personally that I couldn't even make eye contact with the people that I'm sat with, you know? To see songs like Chalte Chalte and Gabi Gabi performed live, I, I never thought that would happen. Like, That's it's just amazing. And isn't it fantastic that there are people of every generation here from the oldest to the youngest? Absolutely, and for anyone who maybe wouldn't have heard this kind of music before, I would look into it because the back catalogue from the 50s, 60s till now, unreal. Thank you so much, DJ Manara. Thank you. Manara, you were amazing this evening, warming everybody up. And we have a very enthousi enthusiastic audience even at the Royal Albert Hall in London tonight. Many generations of families, as Sarah just mentioned, all who grew up on the sound of Lata Mangeshko's voice. We caught up with a few of her fans earlier. Here's what they had to say. My favorite song is La Gagagale. Huge Lothar Mangeshka fan and it was an opportunity to bring my family as well, so my brother's here, my parents. She's just got such a poetic voice. I think growing up, you know, my parents, my grandparents, really into their live music as well. And, you know, I, I'm gutted I never got a chance to see her sing live. I'm really looking forward to it. And I really love this singer, Palak Mutsu. I'm really impressed by the age and the way she's you know, doing it. It's one we're bringing our memory back and all the songs I used to grow up with. She sang the most beautiful, iconic songs, you know, when India was going through partition and independence and so forth. So, yeah, there's historic, there's history. history. The emotion in everybody's voice is so palpable. The emotion in the auditorium here at the Royal Albert Hall, you can feel the energy, can't you, Sarah? Yeah, you certainly can. I thought it was really interesting uh, that the gentleman we heard at the end was talking about partition because Lata sang in many different languages. So was she a sort of force for unity, would you say? Yes, absolutely. You know, so many people here tonight are of first, second, third and fourth generation who travelled from South Asia and here in the UK there is no difference between Indian and Pakistani and Bangladeshi and Sri Lankan. We live as one British Asian community and Lata was that voice of unity so powerfully, so emotionally, so beautifully she managed to unite everybody who was going through a similar, similar journey of struggle, a similar journey of immigration, a similar journey of starting one's life up again through her music, through her voice. No, not many artists around the world could say that they've done that. And I think, you know, the atmosphere here, it's so warm. Uh, there, there is so much love and affection for her. I've heard her referred to as Lata Didi. What, what yes. does that mean? So that quite literally means La Sister Lata. And that is something that people very fondly refer to her as she is everybody's Lata Didi because everybody felt a kind of affinity towards her. Everybody felt like she was a member of their family because quite literally she was the soundtrack to every house. If you weren't waking up listening to Lata Mangeshkar's songs, you most certainly were watching a movie in the evening that had a soundtrack including Lata Mangeshkar's voice there was quite literally no escaping her uh, 
what do you most love about her voice? How does it make you feel? You know, what I love about Lata Mangeshkar's voice, Sarah, is her versatility. And even in this first half of the show so far, we heard her open with Satyam Shivam Sundaram, which is actually a prayer. She then went into a song like Pyar Kiya To Darna Kiya, where her voice is rebellious. She's playing an actress, or she's singing for an actress who is rebelling in love and saying, so what if I've fallen in love? I will follow my heart. I will do what I want. There's no stopping me. And quite literally, a couple of songs later, she's singing a song called Kabi Kabi Mere Dil Mein, where she's playing, uh, or she's singing for a, short, a shy, coy bride. And that was the versatility, the range of Lata Mangeshkar, where it didn't matter what was going on in her own mind or what was happening on the day when she was recording if she needed to perform in a certain character in a certain tone she would absolutely nail it did you ever meet her Unfortunately, I didn't have the pleasure of meeting Lata Mangeshkar, but I did once go past her home in Mumbai, and even on passing, I saw people stood outside because, to be honest, there was no chance that she was going to come on her balcony and say hello, but what people loved was the idea of just being in her presence, getting the blessings, even in the atmosphere, from Lata Mangeshkar. People thought if they would be near her, their voice would be blessed like Lata Mangeshkar's as well. Amazing. And I can't believe the sheer work ethic of the woman singing for over 1,000 films. Was she physically and mentally, like, super strong? Absolutely, absolutely. She was a pioneer for her time. She was the first Indian singer to campaign for royalties for singers. Somebody tried to poison her, Sarah, in the 60s, and she oh. was determined and she fought back. She went through so many struggles. She didn't even want to sing to begin with. She only sang so she could support her family. And today, look at this. Here in 2023, celebrating her legacy at the Royal Albert Hall in London. You're listening to the BBC Proms on Radio 3 with me, Sarah Walker. And me, Harun Rashid, on the Asian Network. Well, the second half of the concert is about to begin. The City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra is on stage, as I'm sure you can hear, sounding magnificent tonight. Especially the percussionists, I have to say. They have been absolutely <laughs> incredible. We can see our host for the evening, Noreen Khan, taking to the stage. Royal Albert Hall, are you having a good time? Come on, how amazing and incredible was that first half? We'll shortly be welcoming Falak Muchal back to this stage. But first, can we have a round of applause for the Bollywood Co for helping everyone get up and dancing tonight. Weren't they fantastic? And we saw that wonderful performance as well from Bakiza, a real iconic movie. Now, Bollywood Co's Kathak dancer, Saloni Saraf, had the honor of learning a version of this choreography from Padma Sharma, the original choreographer on Tare Rehio, especially for this show. Tonight, we are, of course, paying tribute to the one and only Lata Mangeshkar at the BBC Proms. Now, Lata was interestingly the first Indian singer to ever perform here at the Royal Albert Hall back in 1974. So, are you ready for some more Bollywood hits? Tonight's music has been arranged by UK-based composers Nathan Durasami, George Moore, Tim Poitier, Michael Seal, and Saurabh Shiv Kumar. We have more wonderful Hindi film classics on the way, but kicking off this second half is one of Lata's most prolific hits, which actually isn't from a film. 
The next track was written as a tribute to fallen soldiers. The song, with its strong imagery and Lata's powerful performance of it, famously brought India's former Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, to tears. It's become a patriotic anthem for India and is one of Lata's signature songs that she loved to perform live. So, with Air Merivatan, please give a hand to the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Michael Seal.
please ask you to show respect to our soldiers by standing at your place. Thank you, thank you so much.
Thank you. I'd like to share something special with you all. I have uh, somebody very, very special joining me for this concert for the very first time. My husband sitting right over there. And <laughs> he's the renowned music composer, Mithunji. And I'm truly grateful for you to be here and make my special day even more special.
लता जी ने हर जनरेशन की एक्ट्रेस के लिए गाने गाए हैं मीना कुमारी जी से लेकर मधुबाला जी से लेकर माधुरी दीक्षित तक और भी कई सारी एक्ट्रेसेस उनकी इसी इतनी विस्तृत जर्नी को आज हम सेलिब्रेट करने के लिए यहाँ पर मौजूद हैं एक बार जोरदार तालियां लता जी के लिए I'm gonna make it. 
Thank you so much.
लंचा के लिए बहुत जल्द अब बारी आ गई है एक बार पलाश को स्टेज पर आमंत्रित करने की सो प्लीज वेलकम ऑन स्टेज पलाश मुछाल सो दिस मोमेंट इज मोर स्पेशल टू मी बिकॉज समबडी रियली स्पेशल टू मी हैज कम ऑल द वे फ्रॉम मुंबई इंडिया sitting right here somewhere in the audience and i would like to dedicate my next song to my girlfriend who's so so this one is for smriti i love you too Yeah. 
रात भीगी भीगी ये मस्त फिजाए उठा धीरे धीरे वो चांद प्यारा प्यारा ये रात भीगी भीगी ये मस्त फिजाए उठा धीरे धीरे वो चांद प्यारा प्यारा क्यों आग सी लगा के कम सुन है चांद नी सुने भी नहीं देता मौसम पाए शारा Ever since the concert was announced, बहुत सारे गानों की फरमाइश आई थी बिकॉज लता जी के गानों में से कुछ चुनिंदा गाने चूज करना सेटलिस्ट के लिए बहुत डिफिकल्ट था उनमें से कुछ गाने अगले मेले में मैंने इंक्लूड किए हैं तो अगर ये आपका फेवरेट गाना है तो फील फ्री टू सिंग अलॉन्ग विथ मी
ये सच है कि एक बूंद पानी की हजारों की प्यास बुझा नहीं सकती ये भी सच है कि एक टुकड़ा रोटी का सारे जहाँ की भूख मिटा नहीं सकता और ये भी सच है कि एक ढाल हजारों तलवारों का वार बचा नहीं सकती लेकिन फिर भी मैं प्रयासरत हूँ क्योंकि मुझे पूरा यकीन है मुझे विश्वास है कि जब कल इतिहास रचा जाएगा तब मेरा नाम दुनिया मिटाने वालों में नहीं दुनिया बचाने वालों में लिखा जाएगा Lad Jagale, one of Lata Mangeshkar's favorites and our soloist Palak Muchal's favorite piece ending this wonderful evening of live music here at the BBC Proms.
And a fantastic contribution tonight from the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Michael Seal, who's bringing the orchestra to their feet. And a host of star performers from the world of Indian music and cinema. Singers Palak and Palash, Muchal, Pakushni, Skobzi, Singh, Lakhanpal and Parvinda Baratur. And adding so much colour and enchantment to our evening here in the hall, dancers from the Boliko, Saloni Saraf, Sajan Raja, Ankush Segal and Hannah Nazareth. And not forgetting our host on stage here at the Royal Albert Hall, Asian Network's very own Noreen Khan. What a wonderful celebration of the life and music of the renowned singer Lata Mangeshkar. Thank you so much. Palak thanking the audience. Palash there too, and Michael Seal applauding his performers. They've been absolutely amazing. And Haroon Rashid has been with me throughout. How was your first prom? Oh, Sarah, it has been absolutely magical. Tonight can only be described as a euphoric experience where everyone in this room, thousands of people, together celebrated the legacy of an unforgettable legend, Lata Mangeshka. I can't describe in words just how incredible tonight has been. And it has been such a pleasure to present with you, Haroon. We've had orchestral arrangements by Nathan Durasami, George Moore, Tim Potier, Michael Seal himself, and Saurabh Shiva Kumar. Arrangements created specially for tonight's prom. <laughs> and we see Bala come back to the stage. Well, uh, Asian Network is staying with us here in the hall, but here on Radio 3, we're going to return to London's Broadcasting House. So once again, stay with us. Lots of the greatest music coming up. So goodbye from the celebration of the Nightingale of India, Lata Mangeshkar.